Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Tuesday edition of Live at 5. I'm Charlie Melvin. About half the new COVID-19 cases in Richmond County reported on Monday came from one place, Morrison Correctional Institution and Hoffman. The Health Department reported 36 new cases, saying that 19 were from one location and including a link to the North Carolina Department of Public Safety Division of Adult Correction and Juvenile Justice, which shows the prison has had a total of 28 positive cases. The Health Department has also reported the 16th COVID-related death for Richmond County. Health and Human Services Director Dr. Tommy Gerald said his department was notified Monday afternoon that a patient died in a local hospital. All those who have died are between the ages of 31 and 95 and include two African American women, three African American men, five Caucasian females, and six Caucasian men. This is the fourth death reported in September. Most patients have died in a hospital except for two. North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services reported Monday that there have been 3,247 COVID-related deaths statewide. Caleb Hood's play in the football field, coupled with his character and leadership as a high school student athlete, has seen his name up in lights in Richmond County for the last three years. Now the senior quarterback for the Richmond Raiders is in an even brighter spotlight as part of WSOC-TV's Big 22 Players to Watch. The accolade is in its 11th year and now Hood is counting on support from his local fans to help him win the contest. The opening round of the contest began Monday at noon on WSOC-TV's website. Fans can vote up to nine times per day using an account they have to create, and the voting period will be open for over three weeks before the list is cut to five finalists. Raider Nation has had success in the past couple of years, helping Richmond win a variety of online voting competitions. Last fall, Richmond voters beat out numerous other schools in the Carolina Panthers wear it like a pro contest. In April 2019, voters also helped Richmond top the polls as part of the best rivalry in North Carolina with Sandhills Athletic Conference foe Scotland High School. In his introduction video for WSOC-TV's competition, Hood was described as an A-list celebrity in a town where all football players are looked up to. Hood said his role as a high school quarterback requires him to do the right things on and off the field. A deep family history of racing has been the driving force behind Jonathan Tadlock's decision to enter the competitive circuit. Combining his love for racing and his love for working on cars, Tadlock just completed his first season behind the wheel of his 1976 Chevrolet Nova. Although it's his first official go at racing in the pure stock class on dirt, Tadlock's relationship with racing dates to his elementary school days. A 2018 graduate from Richmond Senior High School, Tadlock is currently attending machining school at Richmond Community College. The 20-year-old also works at ranking race engines in Laurel Hill, which helped put him on the fast track to racing. While in high school, Tadlock purchased a stripped-down Nova and spent about two years rebuilding it. He started working at Rankin's in November 2019, and the shop owner, Mike Rankin, helped him piece together a race-ready vehicle. Tadlock didn't hide the fact that racing can be an expensive sport and said he and his crew race most weekends throughout the season. The number 57 crew has decided to shelf the car this season in preparation for a hopeful complete 2020 schedule. During the off-season, Tadlock will be looking for sponsors to help keep his car on the track while also making upgrades. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Locally owned and operated, One Stop Vape Shop is a place you'll want to check out. Whether you need vape supplies, signs, business cards, decals, or your chakras aligned, we have you covered. Our in-house print shop has quick turnaround time and is open seven days a week. We offer a wide range of products including stones, herbs, pendants, CBD, kratom, and more. Visit us at 939 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection. 
friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Are you spending your money paying tuition and fees to a large university just to have your college student take the general education courses online? Come to Richmond Community College where your student will have local instructors, free tutoring, and access to services. Our transfer classes are acceptable at every university in North Carolina. We offer a clean, safe atmosphere specializing in individual student attention and small classes at a fraction of the cost. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware, don't share, lock your meds. You are live at 5 Weather Report is brought to you by Sunset Slush of Richmond County, located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. Keeping warm, I hope. At least I'm trying to with uh, long sleeves on today. I'm sure a lot of folks out there are enjoying this weather with some short sleeves on right now, however. Uh, and you can expect the temperatures to continue to drop down tonight if you are looking forward to that. 7 o'clock, 66 degrees. 9 o'clock, 62 degrees. With party cloudy skies throughout the evening. We got a sunset at 7.14 p.m. with a waxing crescent moon phase out tonight. And the cold weather is going to continue on into tomorrow. We're going to get into the high, the mid-50s for the low. Uh, starting in Fayetteville, high of 77, low of 58. Rayford, high of 77, low of 57. Up in Southern Pines will be a high of 77, low of 56. Down in Scotland County, high of 78, low of 58. Uh, moving uh, south into Bennettsville, high of 78, low of 58. Come back north, Rockingham and Hamlet, high of 77, a low of 56. With LRB seeing a high of 77, a low of 55. And across PD in Anson County, it'll be a high of 78, a low of 58 for tomorrow. Also, party class skies across the region tomorrow. Can't complain about that whatsoever. Uh, but we do have some warmer temperatures coming along the way. Uh, this will be the last day of the 50s for a little while. As next Tuesday, we are expecting to see 50s return for the low, but before we get all the way to there, let's talk about what's happening uh, immediately, which is Wednesday, high of 77, low of 56, partly cloudy skies. And then on Thursday, you can expect mostly cloudy skies with a high of 74 and a low of 60. So still really good weather for those other who are enjoying this. That's not including me. Friday, high of 74, low of 64, uh, with 30% chance of precipitation for Friday. And then on Saturday, those uh, chances go up to a 40% a high of 81, so the A's are returning uh, this weekend with a low of 68. Very big uh, difference there in the temperature, so almost a 20 degree difference really. Uh, Sunday, high of 81, low of 65, 4% chance of the showers. And then on Monday, those 4% chances carry over, uh, except for in the evening where there'll be no chance at all. High of 80, low of 62. And then on Tuesday, like I said a minute ago, uh, the 50s will be returning. High of 78, low of 57. So again, we got a really big gap in uh, the temperatures with the high and the low. So uh, you, at least for me, I'm going to be uh, wearing my, sh my long sleeves throughout the day and then jump into my short sleeves later on. So it's going to that's how it's going to be for a lot of folks out there, I'm sure. But most of y'all, I'm sure y'all are just loving this right now. Not me, but I know everyone out there is enjoying uh, the fact that we are now in the fall equinox today officially and uh, we'll be moving forward with colder weather from here on out up until uh, next year. So uh, hopefully y'all enjoying it um, and I'll continue to, to suffer. <laughs> but that is going to do it for your Live 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.